Now, FIFA has been no stranger to some very unusual stats over the years, and this year's game is no exception, with some attributes ranging from the weird to the downright baffling. Dejan Lovren having a rating higher than 47, being one of those confusing examples, but EA and FIFA decided that Lionel Messi would be the greatest player on the game. 94 overall. It's hard to imagine that the Barcelona star has been underrated when half his stats are above 90, but his penalty taking is only 75, and having scored 12 of his previous 14 for club and country, it seems unfair. Especially when you consider there's a goalkeeper in the game with a penalty stat of 70. He barely needs any introduction, he's the extremely well-known Diego Rodriguez of Central Cordoba. On a similar note, Uruguayan goalkeeper Sebastian Vieira has a free kick stat of 74. The veteran has scored from several set pieces in his career, so I guess it's not too surprising in itself, but it's hilarious when you realise that Cristiano Ronaldo's free kick taking is only just better at 76. The Portuguese superstar has scored an astonishing 55 free kicks over the course of his career, but according to EA, not that impressive. Maybe you should lead them to Paulo Dybala from now on. Speaking of Ronaldo, we all know his heading and jumping capabilities, the man can leap like a literal salmon, and hence he's got a jumping stat of 95 on FIFA 20. Does that mean that salmons would have a jumping stat of that on? I don't know. I'll tell you who does also have a jumping stat of 95. 68 rated Kawasaki frontail midfielder Tatsuya Hasegawa. Just take that in. He is apparently as good at jumping as Cristiano Ronaldo. He's 5 foot 5. Two of him jumping only just reaches Cristiano Ronaldo's normal normal height. Regardless, don't expect him to do much whilst he's in the air though. Scoring from headers is hard enough on this game, let alone with a player whose heading accuracy is only 32. At 6 foot 5, Zlatan Ibrahimovic barely needs to get off the ground if he wants to connect with a ball in the air, and with his well-known capabilities of acrobatics in the air, he's just as likely to try an overhead or scissor kick. Bizarrely though, EA have rated his agility at just 72 and his balance at a meagre 39. Whilst it's understandable, taller players don't really get that sort of stat on FIFA, the Swedish Striker has clearly shown off his incredible dexterity time and again on the football pitch. The man's a black belt in Taekwondo for crying out loud. If I was the guy at EA deciding the stats, I'd be a little bit concerned for my safety. Another unfairly underrated player is Leicester defender and part-time Lord Farquhar impersonator Suyunshu, who has just 67 acceleration and 70 sprint speed. Might not sound unreasonable for a centre-back until you realise he was ranked throughout the season as one of the Premier League's quickest sprinters. And whilst the developers have been stingy in certain aspects, they've uh, definitely done Nick Pope nicely. The Burnley keeper is at the other end of the spectrum with his Summer Heat card in Ultimate Team, boasting five-star skill moves. Pulling out the same tricks as Neymar and Ronaldinho, etc. Maybe the guy knows some secrets of someone at EA. I don't know how he's managed to fraud this one. But those are some of the weirdest stats we have come across in FIFA 20. What's the strangest that you've seen? Let us know in the comments section below.